Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you why you shouldn't underestimate a knight. Let's start with a game, okay? Where I played black. Well, I played using the black piece, I should say. One of my favourite openings, which nobody but me seems to do. Um, moving the king... Rock pawn two places. At this point, I'm just trying to do deliberately silly moves just to see what will happen. Again, I just like to try to advance that pawn as much as possible. And the idiots castled again. Why do they always castle? Do they not realise it's suicide? Okay, well, that's what they want to do. I now have an empty file. That's an empty column to people trying to learn in, this, in the context of chess. Okay, very clever, I missed it, but never mind. They're going to take either my rook or my queen. I'm going to sacrifice the rook and keep the queen. This means that I will at least get um, a knight for a rook. So I've lost my rook, and they've lost their knight. Let's see if it's better to have a knight or a rook. Now, this is part of a cunning plan. At this point, I have a possible checkmate. Okay, unless they if they do not play this very cleverly, it will be over very very quickly. So, for example, I'm going to take over at this point and see what they could have done. Except that actually did first. Nope, they didn't do. It. So, what they could have done, for example, and that doesn't really make much of a difference, I don't think. Yep, now they have got to try and get out of a checkmate. <coughs> because if they don't do something very clever very soon, the next move would be checkmate. And I'll tell you why. Let's just supposing they've done something like this instead. My next move would be checkmate. Well, that's not what they actually did. So let's go back to what they did do. I had to move out of check. Now, that's, they very cleverly protected that pawn. So that if I, so that I cannot actually um, take it without losing my queen. Also, they're threatening to take my bishop. So, although I didn't want to do this, I have no choice. I'm going to pull back for now. So, fret and did an exchange before I could do anything else. So, they got out of a potential checkmate there. Now, they're going to start checking me. I could, I, there was, I could only move down. I couldn't move up. However, I have a cunning plan. That was rather a stupid move. I don't know why I did that even. I think I must have missed that, but never mind. I'm now threatening the uh, Queen Exchange.
with the possibility of taking their queen and protecting my um, bishop at the same time. Instead, they decide to threaten my queen and not threaten my bishop. I move my queen out of the way for now. I just move the king out of the way. Now I think I'll take a pawn while I'm at it. Now a lot of things are going to fall into play now. They then decide to threaten my um, knight. So I take their knight. For some reason they decide to put me in check. But I, unless they um, get rid of my knight, they will be in trouble, but they don't realise it yet. I just move my king out of the way. For some reason, they've now moved their queen there. Why? I don't know. Maybe they made a mistake. Maybe they thought they would take my pawn and try to um, take my rook off. Maybe they had some clever plan I don't understand. But we'll never know. Now, let's look at it at the moment, okay? They have two rooks. I'm going to do something stupid on purpose just to see what they could have done instead of what I actually did do. This is not what happened, but this is what could have happened. I'm supposing I've moved that up there to protect it in some way. I could have decided to do that. I could have decided to do that. And now I've been losing lots and lots of pieces. Now I am in trouble. Because there's not really much I can do. That's a clue for later. And do something like that. Do something like that. That's checkmate. Or if they move down. And if they move there, checkmate. Is 
So basically I've been in severe trouble. Well, let's go back a bit to what actually did happen instead. So it looks, as you can see, as if I'm in a lot of trouble, potentially. So let's look again at what actually happened. As I said, they moved their queen there. And as you can see, it doesn't look very good for black at the moment. I have a knight, they have no knights. They have two rooks, I have one rook. Who is actually going to win? Well, from here, once they moved their queen, they've lost the whole game. They cannot win now. If I play the correct move, which I'm going to do, it is now impossible for them to win. They cannot now stop checkmate if I do the next move. Never underestimate a knight. It is now all over for them. They cannot possibly win now if I do the next good move. Not quite true actually. They, they might... Ne what is it? No, and it doesn't matter what they do, from now on they've lost, and I'll show you why. First I'm going to show what they actually did. There's just one of two possible moves they could have done. They could have done that, or they could have moved the king there instead. I'll show you later what would happen if they'd moved there instead. It will make no difference in real terms. Again, because of the knight. Now, I move the rook there. To check the, the king. Now, it is game over. It's not checkmate yet, but it will be. The only thing they can do, the only legal moves they can do, are to sacrifice their queen and bishop. And they have to sacrifice both of them. Those are the only legal moves they can do. They can choose whether to sacrifice the queen first or whether to sacrifice the bishop first. But it doesn't matter what they do, they will still lose. They decide to sacrifice the bishop. They take the bishop. Now the only legal move they can do is to sacrifice their queen. I take their queen. Checkmate. Let's see what would have happened if they'd gone here instead. It makes no difference. The thing is, you see, they cannot move their king there because of the knight. So the knight is forcing them to remain, and they can't move the king back there because of the knight. So the only, so the king cannot move there. Or there. Again, all they can do is sacrifice the bishop and the queen. Checkmate. The only other thing I could have done is to alter the sequence. So for example, instead of moving the queen there, which you saw earlier, they could have moved the queen when it was 
There. And then sacrifice the bishop. It's all I could do. So, because of this knight protecting there and originally threatening there, they could not stop checkmate. So, there you go. One knight on the board being more powerful than either of the two rocks which my opponent had which were doing absolutely nothing. They were not threatening anything at the time. So there you go guys. Don't underestimate a knight. Thanks for watching. Bye.